Hi, my name is Alistair Chapman and in this video I'm going to take a look at some of the accessories and rigging equipment for the FX6 from Bright Tangerine. Now if you like my videos, do subscribe so that you won't miss future videos. Anyway, who are Bright Tangerine? Well, Bright Tangerine are a UK-based manufacturer of very high quality camera equipment. They manufacture all these products here in the UK in their own in-house machine shop. And one of the big advantages of that is that they can react very quickly to customer feedback. Now you might not have heard of them before, they're not new, they've been around for a very long time and traditionally their market has been high-end cinema cameras. So they've made map boxes, accessories, mounting brackets and things like that for the ARRI cameras, um, for Venice, for RED, etc. for a long time. But they're now starting to expand into the lower cost cameras, cinema line cameras like this, and they have a whole new ecosystem really built for the FX6. It's all made here in the UK, in, made in-house, they have their own machine shop. And one of the advantages of that is they can respond very quickly to customer feedback. So if they make something and it goes out and people start saying, well, actually, you know what, it would be better if it was done this way. Well, they can make those changes very, very quickly and incorporate it into the products. These are very, very high quality products. They have really nice stainless steel inserts wherever there is a thread and things like that. The tolerances are really, really tight. And they also think a little bit outside of the box. So rather than just having a standard VCT plate system, which they do support, but not on the FX6 at the moment, um, they have redesigned and rethought about how people mount cameras and what's important about that. And they've come up with their own system, which I'll go into during this video. So starting at the top of the camera here, um, what I have on the top of the camera is their FX6 cheese plate. And then mounted to that, I have one of their FX6 or one of their handles. Now, almost everything that they make when they're doing plates, uh, stuff that goes on the bottom of the camera or the side of the camera, etc., revolves around normal standard types of fittings. So in the, this case, the top cheese plate uses NATO rail. So you can see we have the basic cheese plate here from Bright Tangerine. If you want to replace the Sony handle, there is a NATO rail that goes in between in the middle, and then the handle itself slides onto the NATO rail. Now, because this is all NATO rail, this can actually be fitted onto these side rails on either side, if you wish. So let's now have a look at the camera with the same top cheese plate but just with the original FX6 handle. Now, something that really is important about the Sony top handle here is you'll see that we actually have somewhere for an Allen key on these mounting screws. And to make sure that you don't get any issues with the audio connector, you really do need to do these up quite tight using an Allen key. It's not enough to just do them up finger tight. They really do need to be done up with an Allen key, not excessively tight, but certainly so that they are nice and tight. So I've refitted the Sony top handle, done my screws up nice and tight. And what I've also added now is this bracket system here for the LCD viewfinder. And what's really nice about this, so this attaches to the normal mounting point that most people would use for the standard Sony mount. And then in addition, there is an extra arm here that comes down to the cheese plate and attaches to the bar for the viewfinder. And this really helps stabilize the top handle as well as the LCD screen. And this mounting bracket, this is NATO rail. So this does actually work with other viewfinder systems. So it actually works with anything that uses NATO rail, which includes the Vocus system. So you can use this with a Vocus viewfinder as well, should you choose. Now this is really nice because actually this folds. So what that means is we can move our mounting point for the viewfinder further back if we want. And of course, being NATO rail, 
it slides as well. If we need to have the viewfinder higher up, we can have it higher up by moving it up, so it can go up and down, and we can also have it much further out to the front. So it gives us a really wide range of mounting positions for the LCD screen. So now I've fitted the viewfinder support system that Bright Tangerine make for the FX6, and this is really nice. So it comes in a couple of different parts. You have the actual mounting rod here that goes onto the NATO rail, and this gold colored knob here, which we can position where we want, wherever it's accessible, allows you to adjust the amount of tension in the pivot. And this is a sort of a fluid damped type thing. It has uh, some sort of sticky grease or something inside it. And it's a really nice action. So we don't need to loosen anything. We can let go and it stays where we want it. So we can adjust the angle of the LCD screen. If we've got a heavier loop or something like that, we can just do this up a little bit tighter. But that allows us to then articulate and move the angle of the LCD. And then the LCD itself has this bracket that goes around the LCD panel. And one of the great things about this is a little clamp underneath here that we can adjust the tension of. But generally you don't need this to be that tight. And what that means is when you're traveling, you can still flip the LCD in against the side of the camera. Now, if we look at the other side of the camera here, I have a bright tangerine cheese plate that is attached to my top rails. So this is attached via a NATO rail adapter because we have this NATO rail across the top of the cheese plate. And so I can actually undo this and I can move it forwards and backwards a little bit if I want to. I could, could tuck it in a little bit more into this gap if I wanted. But this gives me a nice large area for mounting things like radio mics, time code boxes and things like that, all sorts of accessories on the side of the camera. And I do know that a lot of work went into actually looking at how far this plate was from the side because we have our SDI connectors and things like that. And you can still get at these connectors quite comfortably, actually, even though the, the cheese plate sits here. So it's a reasonable distance out from the side of the camera body. And that allows you to still access the connectors here without the cheese plate actually getting in the way. But it does give you a really good large mounting area for all kinds of accessories. And you've got three eighths, quarter 20, and these slots as well for other things. And the three eighths and quarter 20 mounting points are all surrounded by the holes required for the ARRI anti-twist system. So provided your attachment has the pins on it, it won't rotate, it won't twist. And then finally coming down here to the base plate, well, this is the Bright Tangerine left field system. And this is a really lovely system. So to release the camera from the tripod, it's ever extremely, extremely secure. I have to release a little locking catch at the back here, and then the lever opens. But even at this stage here, although we can now slide the camera forwards and backwards, so the system is compatible with an ARRI dovetail and with a longer dovetail plate, you can slide it forwards and backwards. It still can't actually come off at this stage. There is an extra little locking lever here that we have to push and then it opens completely and it lifts off the dovetail. If I look at the underneath of it, what you'll see is that there's actually a plate within here and this plate is removable. And what that means is that these dovetails, this, this main piece here will fit almost any camera. So you can get an adapter for Venice, for RED, for ARRI, whatever your cameras are. And this one is specifically for the FX6. And if you change cameras or have multiple cameras, the only piece you need to change is this little piece in here. This bit, the, the expensive bit, you can use across multiple cameras. And to put it on, simple as that, it's on and it is really, really solid, compatible with an ARRI dovetail. So if you're using a larger system, it will work with that. And compared to a VCT plate, well, it comes on and off almost as quick, off and then 
on and it's much, much more secure. It really doesn't wobble. There's none of that play that you have in a VCT system. And then of course, it also takes uh, lightweight 15 rods. And these rods that I've got in here, these are Bright Tangerine's own rods. They're called drumsticks. And these are made of titanium. These, yeah, they're quite expensive, but they are incredibly light and much more rigid than uh, carbon fiber. These are really, really nice rods. Bright Tangerine also do a bracket that goes on the back of the left field base plate. And there's a quick release shoulder pad that can be attached to the back of the base plate. Other option is that they have a base plate that has a dovetail on the top. So what you simply do is you take the camera off your tripod and then you drop it on to the shoulder pad. And what that creates really is a system that is more stable than VCT, it keeps it more compact, lower and closer to the tripod, helping to keep everything really nice and stable. So that's the Bright Tangerine accessories for the FX6, made here in the UK, very, very high quality, really nicely made. And they do listen to us as filmmakers and they try to improve the product continually, continuously to make it as good as possible. So if you're looking to rig out your FX6, do take a look. They are a site sponsor and I have to say thank you to them for that. Um, and I do have a good relationship with them. I'm not pretending otherwise, but it is nice product, well made, made in the UK. So as I say, take a look. If you found this video useful, please do subscribe and keep watching for more videos.